that, guys? We saw a picture of you, <laughs> and we've decided that you don't look like you sound. Oh, is that right? I, 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 uh, I'm even better looking than I sound. Is what you're well, there's no question about it. But it's, you know, we get that all the time. Really, that's McGraw. That's what you look like. But I'm doing that to you. You are you've got a Mr. Clean head, a nice, thick yep. red beard, horn rim glasses. Very cool glasses. Very cool. Very cool. But it, uh, but I was I was thinking of a different cool. So. It's why I can't do TV, guys. It's because the makeup bill would kill me just to cut down on the glare. <laughs> you couldn't do TV because you wouldn't be able to walk down the street. You'd be harassed all day long how, <laughs> how good-looking good you are. So there you go. All right, Brad. Uh, all things James Comey. We're hearing stories leaking all over the place. What is going on? Yeah, well, uh, James Comey will take to the Hill tomorrow. We now know a little bit about the questions that are going to be asked. We also know a little bit about what the answers will be as well. So, I mean, the, the first questions will be all about his private interactions with the president. Did you ever actually say that, you know, the president was not under investigation? And perhaps more to the point, did the president ever try to wave you off of General Michael Flynn? And we now know that James Comey is planning on discussing uh, those conversations. However, he's probably going to stop short of outright accusing the president of obstructing justice uh, okay, people it, who are close it, to comey say he's not going to go that far is he not going to say it because he doesn't think it happened or is he not going to say it because that's not his place to, to to say it i think it's much more the latter he's he sources say that he views himself very much as a witness like you know here's what the president told me it's not my job to judge what his intent was or judge sort of the way he said it you guys can decide if that sounds like obstruction of justice i'm just going to tell you what he said although those same sources say in, in the weeks of the past since that unexpected firing he's come to view donald trump with even more suspicion than he already had and, and let's face it that was a lot it was enough suspicion to make him write those memos after these conversations apparently are we going to see these memos hear these memos at all tomorrow I th he'll certainly be asked whether he made them, right? And, and I imagine he'll uh, say yes, since we know that he's planning on talking about these conversations. Uh, if they are real, then, then I imagine that he would discuss them at least a little bit in detail. I have yet to hear any word on whether he would actually produce them since, since he left them for the FBI. Uh, now, we're also hearing that he reports are, and I guess he'll be able to ask, ask and then answer this question tomorrow, that he asked Sessions to stay in the room. I don't want to be alone with this man. Yeah, th this is a really surprising revelation that just came from the from the Times, the New York Times overnight. This idea that he was furious when President Trump ordered everyone out of the room, including Jeff Sessions, had Comey alone, and that apparently is when that conversation happened about I hope you can let this go. Uh, apparently, Comey furious went up to Sessions later and said, "Do not let that happen again." It's important to remember, though, that uh, Comey it's it's not just against it's not necessarily against protocol to be alone with the president when you're the FBI director. He did this with. President Obama multiple times, so apparently this had more to do with his feelings about Trump, about feeling suspicious of Trump's motivations, and that's why he was so upset with Sessions. Where is the line? Where is he going to say, sorry, I can't answer that question, or I'll be happy to answer it, right? Because I, I, there's I, an ongoing FBI investigation here. Yeah, I, I think if it has to do with his conversations with the president, uh, we've heard that Robert Mueller and his team, that special counsel's office, has essentially said, you can say whatever you want as far as your conversations with the president. Now, should he be getting into classified information about the Russia investigation? That you imagine he would say, that's part of an ongoing investigation. I can't talk about it. But uh, since the president has decided not to invoke executive privilege, since uh, Mueller has told him, you do you, uh, it sounds like if Comey wants to talk about it, he can. Donald Trump said that he asked him three different times, hey, am I under investigation? And according to Donald Trump, he said, Comey said, no, I'm not. You have to think that's going to come up tomorrow. Yeah, and, and we're hearing from people close to Comey uh, that, that he will push back hard against that, that he does not recall saying that, at least not in that way. So you'd imagine he might try to recall exactly what was said there. Also, the whole loyalty pledge thing, that as well is going to be a conversation that he'll describe in detail as well, though we, we don't necessarily know what he'll say. In fact, sources close to Comey are still kind of unsure about how 
he will respond if he's asked, you know, how do these conversations look in hindsight to you? Do you have any opinion about them whatsoever? The sources around him say they're not even sure if he, he might go into more detail than they've heard already. Brad, people are talking about this as a Super Bowl must-watch TV. Is it going to be a blowout or is it going to be a nail-biter? I mean, is this going to be a dud or is this going to be a blockbuster tomorrow? Well, it's interesting that I think we've already heard some things leak out from people close to Comey and from people close to the senators who are planning on asking the questions. At the end of the day, these hearings can be sort of highly choreographed affairs. That does not mean, though, that it's not going to be dramatic, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a guy who was fired by the president as he was looking into the campaign. He's, he'll be testifying a day after Dan Coats, Dan Coats, the uh, director of national intelligence. He will be testifying today, and there's a report out overnight that he was cornered by the president into, uh, and, and was asked, can you see if you can impede this investigation by the FBI at all? I mean, this is a, as big as it gets, and now you have Comey sort of separating fact from fiction or fact from rumor. Brad Melke, he uh, looks better than he sounds, and he sounds pretty good. Brad, have a good day. Thanks for checking in. Thanks, guys. You got it. 726.